in this video, I'm going to help you understand the whole Copilot ecosystem inside of Microsoft. There's a bunch of different Copilots that are coming out, over 80 different branded products with Copilots. This video is going to help you figure out what Microsoft means when they're talking about different types of Copilots in different contexts. I think the best place to start is what are we talking about when we say a Copilot? And with Microsoft, there was a decision to move away from a term that you would hear us use in the past, which was a virtual agent or a bot. The idea is that a co-pilot is more than this. It is where generative AI technology is coming together with traditional conversational AI technology like uh, language models and dialogue managers to be able to bring a truly unique experience or an enhanced experience that allows these things to work together to be able to build a new conversational experience within, uh, within a product or within what you build. So let's peel this back a little further on all of these different co-pilots. And let's think about that there are over 80 products from Microsoft that are branded with the name Copilot, but they really are three different unique categories of products that we're going to deal with. We're going to start on the left and work our way to the right here. So in the case of an embedded Copilot, so imagine that uh, you're in Power Automate, for example, there is this Power Automate Copilot. And the, this is an example of an embedded copilot, just like Copilot Studio has a copilot within it. Um, and the way you think about these things that are being called copilot is that they are embedded into a product. You don't buy them as a product SKU, they come with a product. And what they do by doing that is they're typically to help you be able to consume or use that product. And they're typically not extensible. And what I mean by that is you really can't customize those. Um, an example is the if you're inside a Copilot Studio, uh, which some people will traditionally know as Power Virtual Agents, there's a Copilot in there that will help you build topics. It will write uh, the YAML for you. In the case of Power Automate, there's a co-pilot where you can explain what you want to build and it will author you a, uh, a Power Automate flow um, automatically. So this is an example of an embedded co-pilot. Now, let's move to the center section, the, what I would call a solution accelerator. Um, it's really a starting point. It comes with prepackaged components um, that will allow you to get a basic functionality out of the box. Now, what do I mean by that? Like, think of it like uh, Dynamics for Customer Service. You can purchase this, and it has an included uh, Copilot component, which helps an agent be able to answer questions uh, that are coming in from their customer service agent desktop. But if you look at Copilot for Service, you can actually now buy that component as well in a modular way. And it's really basically the same thing. It's just that it's not pre-integrated into uh, the Dynamics for Customer Service uh, components, which um, you know, it has a lot of value when you buy the whole package together. It's not an integration to a backend system that's required. But again, it's an out of the box solution that you can buy from Microsoft. These are typically extensible. So in all those cases, you'll be able to extend that using Copilot Studio. And the extensibility is included in the price of that um, that solution. The most popular thing in this space would be something like the uh, M365 Copilot, which is a personal productivity solution that will allow you to be able to extend that and be able to add additional capabilities. Now, with these type of copilots, you don't own the channels. You can't say, I want to put this in one place and then put it in another place. It's included channels of it are included with that. If you don't know what I mean by channels, it's how you interact with it. So if you're trying to and create something and embed it directly on your website, this is not the M365 Copilot. 
and you have to look at the channels that in which these things interoperate and a lot of times these out of the box copilots need the channel to be able to handle specific actions so a custom channel wouldn't make sense for it to begin with so off to the last one the last option here is going to be where we have a custom copilot now this is definitely where microsoft copilot studio place and it allows you to be able to build your own custom copilot that does what you want and put it wherever you want and so this is traditionally what you would have heard of power virtual agents uh, playing in this space and, and such so be aware that you can also decide to build a custom copilot by buying just the components that copilot studio is built upon. So if you wanted to buy Azure OpenAI on your data, or you want to buy Azure OpenAI directly, or uh, things of that nature, uh, you'll hear people say that you can build co-pilots on these things. And the answer is you totally can, but most people need a dialogue manager. And I have a video, if you haven't seen that, on why you would want to create a dialogue manager, and, or the reasons that you need a dialogue manager to really remain in control of a conversational application. Now, in this space for custom, of course, you have semantic kernel, which is you buying a PaaS based way and think of it like I'm going to open up Visual Studio and I'm going to get an SDK, but I'm going to have to understand state storage and I'm going to have to figure out how I want to scale it. It's, it's a PaaS based thing, whereas Copilot Studio is a full SaaS that takes all of that stuff and pre-configures it and just makes it available. And it makes it easy to connect in uh, Azure OpenAI. It has out of the box cer uh, search and summarization uh, capabilities within generative answers and all of those things. So most people and most enterprises that are trying to build their own custom copilots um, will likely be using Copilot Studio in order to do that. And you'll see that Satya Nadella at uh, Ignite had that at the top of the stack uh, in the whole AI suite. And it's just to give people the understanding that this is sort of the authoring interface to be able to, uh, to do this. Now, the thing is, is that you can also build plugins within Copilot Studio and extend but the extensions are really going into those solution accelerators. And so when you're extending, it comes with the solution accelerator. And if you want to build extensions and um, be able to use those in the solution accelerators, you can. And that comes with, this, with the thing that you bought in the solution accelerator category. But when you're building custom co-pilots, like I want to build my own dedicated HR bot that answers benefit enrollment questions, as an example. This is an example of a custom copilot where you might want to put this in inside of uh, an employee mobile app or things of that nature. And in that world, you will actually purchase messages and message packs that will allow you to be able to buy consumption for your own custom copilots. And it puts you in full control. So in where the solution accelerator has a out of the box experience, that you can think of it, you can add capabilities to it, but ultimately uh, like M365 Copilot is going to continue to be a personal assistant or personal productivity Copilot. You really aren't going to change it from that's what its nature is because that's what it's built as a solution accelerator for. If you're wanting to build your own custom thing and custom experience, that's where Copilot Studio and custom Copilots really come into play. So I hope this has been somewhat helpful for a lot of people. I know this is really confusing. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. I'll do my best to kind of keep up with those. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and in the comments, you can also make recommendations for additional things. This is part of my education series that I'm working on uh, for many people. So please give me, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. And also, um, as always, you can go try Microsoft Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.